Hi, I'm Andrew, and today I'm here with Yasser, and we're going to be talking about the importance of SSL decryption. So we've been hearing a lot about SSL decryption and this idea that malware can hide in encrypted traffic. W what is the significance of that? A large percentage of traffic going out to the internet these days is encrypted. That means that bad things, for example, malware, ransomware, and many other bad kind of stuff can hide in this encrypted traffic, and your network devices will be blind to these uh, malware or these uh, ransomware type objects. And, and what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, if your majority of your traffic is, is encrypted, then you're not analyzing these, these, uh, uh, these malware or these ransomware files. They can infect your internal organization. And that means that the investment which you have done in these network devices uh, is wasted. If you look at it, the, the typical enterprise's network security budget, a large percentage of that is spent on uh, next-gen firewalls, IPS, IDS systems, uh, secure web gateways, etc. And these devices are put on for the precise reason to inspect and block malicious traffic. And if you're not inspecting a large percentage of traffic going out to the internet, then these devices are not doing their function. And that investment in assets is in essence wasted. But these devices can decrypt SSL traffic, right? Some of them can, others cannot. And that's where the other issue is, that, that not all devices can do decryption. Uh, they, can, they were designed long ago to act on decrypted or plain text traffic. With the, uh, with the SSL or the rise on SSL or encrypted traffic, some of these devices are not equipped to decrypt at this point. And is there performance considerations, too, when it comes to decrypting SSL traffic? I'm glad you mentioned that. So yes, of course, there is a big performance hit on the devices which can do decryption. Once you enable decryption, the performance go, go down substantially. In some cases, up to uh, goes down by two-thirds, essentially. And, and that creates a big issue. And, and sometimes organizations choose not to decrypt because of the same consideration. That creates the other problem. that, that that in fear of degrading your performance, you're not decrypting, and suddenly you're allowing everything to pass through, and you're bypassing your security devices in essence. Mm -hmm. And that is what the, the real concern is. So how does A10 handle um, SSL decryption and, mm -hmm. and finding malware in encrypted traffic? Right, so we introduced a technology, SSL Insight or SSL Inspection, about five years ago. We are probably one of the first in this market or this, this uh, segment of the market. Uh, what we do is that we can decrypt the uh, encrypted traffic, we can feed it to multiple devices and multiple layers, and in essence, we can create a decrypt zone. So we get the, the encrypted traffic, we decrypt it, we feed it to all the devices in the decrypt zone, we take it back, we put it in SSL or encryption, and then send it out to the internet. So we can minimize your performance hit, we can maximize your budget spent, and uh, uh, performance as well. Well, thank you, Yasser, for coming on today and talking to us about the importance of SSL decryption. Mm -hmm. uh, really appreciate you stopping by. Sure. And we'll see you next time.